Bye. I'm Molly McHugh and this is DT Daily. Coming up, an electric motorcycle beats the gas-powered competition, a flashlight powered by body heat, and gamers discover a hidden phone sex number in a new PS3 game. At the Pikes Peak Hill Climb in Colorado, the phrase, ride it like you stole it, has a whole other meaning. That two-wheeled rocket ship, blaring car alarm and all, is the first electric vehicle to defeat all its gas-powered competition at a motorsports event. Yes, electric-powered, flat-out, beat gas-powered. Rider Carlin Dunn blasted up the 12 and a half mile course in 10 minutes. The second place bike, a gas-powered Ducati Multistrada, was 21 seconds slower. That wailing car alarm sound you heard is a warning siren, essential for safety on the otherwise silent electric bikes. How do you make a flashlight revolutionary? Swap the incandescent bulb with an LED? Well, that's a start. But how about replacing the batteries with nothing? Meet 15-year-old Ann Makasinski and her human-powered flashlight. It's a simple hollow tube with LED bulbs wrapped with Peltier tiles. They generate electricity from the temperature difference between the user's hand and the cool air inside the tube. Makasinski is one of the 15 finalists for this year's Google Science Fair competition, where the grand prize is $50,000. And with a production cost of only 26 bucks, she'll be able to make lots of flashlights if she wins. As gaming evolves, large maps and hidden content serve to satisfy the deep-seated human urge to explore. In the case of Naughty Dog's new release, The Last of Us, game designers unknowingly took that a bit too far. An artist accidentally included a working phone number on an ad for pest control that can be seen plastered around the game's dystopian environments. Players who called the phone number reached a working sex line. Game developers assumed the 555 number would be invalid, but that apparently isn't the case when you put a 1-800 in front of it. The latest patch release for the game removed the number and presumably took away a good portion of the business from the unsuspecting sex line. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.